So this is kind of unfortunate. The guy who I am giving this gear back to, he had some personal issue come up. So, so, so he couldn't manage to deal with my booking at the right time. So I'm stuck with this gear until, until Sunday, but silver lining, I have this gear until Sunday. So I figured I would use it to make a couple more videos while I'm dreading my uh, upcoming performance jury, which is later today. And I am really nervous about, but in order to prepare for that, I've decided <laughs> let's not prepare for that and actually do a uh, a video on how to do drum synthesis. So, um, how to do drum synthesis with only stock plugins in FL Studio because it's possible. And I thought this might be a neat way to show off how much I've learned since I last did YouTube videos. So I'm starting off with a sine wave here. I'm going to use a couple layers, just a 3x oscillator. This is not the easiest way to do it with stock plugins in FL, but I think it's the most uh, it's it's the most uh, it's the most conducive to an understanding of how it actually works. So I've just started with a sine wave with an envelope on it. The length of the envelope shapes the uh, it shapes the length of the sound. Obviously, that's the it's just a volume knob, basically. Um, so I'm going to add a layer here. I'm going to add another three oscillator. This one's going to be noise. That's what this little guy here is. I'm going to do a similar en envelope. This one's going to be a lot shorter. And I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to do a little pitchy with this guy. Start up. And I'm going to go into the clip here. I'm going to set the minimum value at 50%. So when I do this, It'll go down to the pitch that I have on the keyboard. So there's there's your there there's there's a simple kick sound right right away. I can what well, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna filter the. Uh, the noise a little bit. So I'm going to bring up an EQ. Take some of the highs out.
And I also want it to be sort of, I want it to be heavily transient. So let me just uh, move this all onto one track here and do that. Edit the edit the fade. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to edit the fades here. No, I don't want to do that. Jesus Christ. And that's really that simple. Uh, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, FL Studio has a stock plugin, I believe, that does transient processing. I don't have it. It's uh, It comes in the all plugins version, so you have to pay for this one, but it is a stock FL plugin. But it is in FL. It's downloaded in FL, and you can still consolidate tracks that have been processed with it. And you can end up with a kick drum like that very easily with just using two default FL Studio plugins. No, I don't want to... I don't know why it keeps doing that. I, I'm not asking it to do that. Well, that's a pretty good kick already. Um, and for a snare, similar process, but with less of the pitch bending. So I'm just going to make a new project here just so it's more organized for me. I'm just not going to save. Okay. Um, So three oscillator, same sort of deal. Turn these two oscillators off. Uh, only turn it down one octave this time instead of two. But similar thing, make an envelope. I think that works. And I'm going to again go for noise. So turn these two off. You could also do it within the same plugin, but that way you can also do it within the same 3S oscillator, but that way you can't have access to the envelopes. And the reason I the reason I'm not using Patcher for this is that I'm pretty sure this menu here doesn't show up in Patcher. And put a little put a little bit of an attack on this on the noise on this one. I'm I'm just gonna see if that works. And this has to be quieter. Add a little bit of reverb. Turn the decay down.
And I'm going to do the same thing over this one. Oh, I added it on an empty track like a total idiot. Okay. I'm also going to add uh, reverb on the uh, noise. And I'm going to I'm just going to break down the highs a little bit. For a snare, you actually want high end, but I'm just going to high pass. And I'm going to go playlist. I'm just going to put everything. And I'm going to create, uh, again, an automation. Actually, I don't need to do that for this one. I'm going to consolidate. With a snare, it should be more tonal and not... See, if you look at this, the, the transient is sort of weird. It, like, comes out. It's like... It, like, it goes... It eases in and out. You don't want that. And I did that sort of by... Uh, I, I It's obvious that I did that by uh, just putting a bit of decay on the uh, thing, but you can fix that with the uh, transient processor. Depending on the type of uh, snare you want, change the uh, gain, release, how how strong you want the attack. I want a really snappy snare. And I'm going to consolidate again. And there, edit the fades. This one is very bass heavy, let me see. So, if you get something happening like that where it's below 100 hertz, that is very usable for like dubstep. But if you want it to be higher, so you have a. So it's more like transient. Uh, just make it higher. Do the same thing, run it through the same processing, sort of. We'll go for the transient processor. If you want a very, like, I 
personally actually don't like this one very much. But it, it all comes down to trial and error. But now it's a... Now it's above 100 hertz, which is basically necessary for a snare. It don't necessarily have to be on a specific pitch. And I'm going to bring in a soft clipper. Uh, I'm going to also bring in a stereo enhancer and I'm just going to make it mono if I can find it through all of my stupid plugins yep and just drag that down to no can do it that way uh, you don't have to have your snare be that tonal the reason I have the EQ like that is to boost the lower part of the noise I set the sample to Stretch Pro and I'm fucking with the formants now. Uh, I was I was clipping a bit, so it might sound a little funky. See if you look, I clipped there. But in this case, it actually turned out pretty good. I actually would use this snare. I went over and it clipped out some of the details in the transient, but it turned out okay. So that's that's the snare. I'm going and then symbols. I'm sure you can just figure out. It's just noise. They're not hard to synthesize. Kicks and snares are the hard thing. So, yeah, that's the video. Bye.